So I've smashed one of the spade terminals on there. The same for the blue here. I always have a big problem with these and never know if I'm smashing them right. But you want to be able to give it a little tug and not have the wire come out there. <coughs> So then I'm going to affix one of these T-splitters onto the negative line. Clamp that shut. Hopefully piercing that wire, do the same thing on the red. <clears throat> tougher on this big wire, but that's good. Let's clip those down and now can attach the ground there. I'm going to attach them all the way through. So I've got a positive right here and negative. Now this is kind of a temporary setup for here. So we might want to do something that's more of a permanent installation, but <clears throat> this should give a good idea of what you need done in terms of splitting that 12 volt that's coming in, or the 12 volt DC that's coming in from the UPS. So then we're splitting it right here, bringing power both to the UNO as well as to the Infineon board. Now we want to do some basic continuity testing here to see that our power is getting through. Um, can I actually stick that through for positive um, into the center there? Let's see if we get positive. I'll well, see where we get positive. So, so we have positive there. Positive after the split, positive after this split, and positive coming in there, and that should have positive all the way there. So, perfect. Then on the outside, now again remember for continuity testing it doesn't matter the color, it's just if you're touching. So now I'm testing ground on the outside here, outside here. on the negative side after the split. Perfect. And all the way in the board. Okay, so we've got some continuity testing so we know our, that things are at least connected up correctly. Um, and actually we should also just verify that they're, it's not incorrect. So again, color doesn't matter but I'm gonna put the red in the positive and now I'm gonna touch positive to verify again. Working, now negative. So no negative. Positive, no negative. No negative, positive. No negative, positive. No negative, positive, no negative. Okay. Perfect. So, undo that here. So now we've got 
power that would come in from the 12 volt right here, split off, go to both our Uno and our Infineon, and then we will have a number of wires coming out of the Infineon right here. So we need to do a couple of things. One is we need to make those wires um, all have a common ground right here. And two, we need to upload our sketch to our Arduino so that we can actually control and switch the relays on those wires. So let us flip over and actually install on the Arduino right now. So 